For some reason, whenever I make a video like this, it's because I get angry at something. So I was watching this girl's video. Now this is from a year ago and it says 11 items Christians shouldn't own. It's actually a really good video. And she talks about, you know, when you become a Christian, you shouldn't have in your house, you know, dream catchers, statues of Buddha, you know, Catholic statues, statues of Mary, you know, and she talks about like other things. She talks about art, you know, that's a good thing, you know, art. And she's talking about these things being idols in your home, not idols necessarily like a Buddha, although she did mention that. An idol is anything that takes you away from God or worshiping God properly. That could be anything in your life. You could worship your spouse more than God. That becomes your idol. I know that sounds wrong and it sounds kind of weird, maybe bad, but my wife tells me all the time I need to stop worshiping her because I really love my wife. I really do. My wife is awesome. But she's always telling me, stop worshiping me so much. Focus more on God. And she's right. I, that, that's, that's something I need to work on. But I really love my wife. And I really appreciate her. So I think that's that's why it, I don't know. It's hard to it, describe that. You know, I don't want it to seem bad. Like, maybe I should hate my wife. But I hate to, It's hard to explain. But anyway, so I'm watching this girl. And, you know, she was talking about clothing brands, you know, uh, I'm sure when you talk about all companies, you know, Walmart, Target, I'm sure all of them give money to people and organizations you're going to disagree with, even as a Christian or especially as a Christian. You can only go so far with this because you're still in the world, you know. You can't just like wear a fig leaf and walk around. So somewhere there has to be compromise. I would say research some of the things you wear. You know, I mean, obviously, you know, when there's pictures on your shirt or something, but it's like if I'm wearing a Hanes or a Fruit of the Loom, you know, if I really dig deep, yeah, I can find dirt on them and then I'm not going to wear their stuff anymore. But it's like, whatever, it's just clothing. That's how I look at it. You do not want to get legalistic in this area. But the stuff that this chick mentions is is spot on. This chick was right on the money. Now, she mentioned something about a guitar near the end, but she was using it in a, in a scenario, you know, is the guitar taking you away from God? Is it going to make you play bad music? That's what she was doing as an example. And then people in the comments are like, how can a guitar be bad? And I'm like, oh my gosh, people pay attention to what she was saying. So the reason why I got mad is not from the video. It's from the comments. I want to say this real quick. I have a Catholic video I'm trying to work on. It's still in my head. It's not on paper. I have no notes for it yet. I have an idea of exactly what I want to do and what I want to say, but I haven't done it yet. It's going to be really big. It's going to be over an hour long. That's long. You know, and how do I want to break that up into parts or just make it one long video? I need to find out. Am I going to get in trouble for reproducing certain things? It's a big thing coming up, and I don't want to get into that right now. But it has something to do with some of these things I'm looking at right here in the comments. Because the chick talked about, you know, the statues and getting rid of Mary statues and stuff. She was right. Catholicism is evil. It is so satanic. It is so anti-Christian, anti-Bible. You Catholics are going to hate me saying that. But I'm telling you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. It's anti Bible, it's anti, oh, it's it's terrible. It's horrible. How do I know this? I used to be one. I know all the ins and outs. I know all this stuff. If you actually read the Bible, you'll be like, hey, wait a minute. This is saying this, but we're being taught this. And you'll be like, hey, hey, this is kind of trippy. The, the Catholics are exactly against scripture. The catechism is the exact opposite of the Bible. It's insane. It's insane why people even follow this. Anyway, they're deceived. Anyway, that's a whole other story. I was reading these comments, and this is what gets me mad, is you have all the Catholics in here saying that she's wrong. Now, watch the weird double talk. Please stop. If you don't know the truth, Catholics do not pray to Mary. Well, first of all, yes, they do. You are taught that. But anyway, let's just go with their words, okay? Catholics do not pray to Mary. We don't make her a God. I have a statue in my home because I love her. 
just like I love my mother. I have pictures of my mother who has passed and Mary mother. This is bad. I ask both of them to pray for me to the Lord. All the other things I agree with, but as a Catholic, it bothers me when y'all say we idolize Mary. The Bible says there is one mediator between man and God, and that is Jesus. That is it. You pray to Jesus or you pray to God through Jesus. That's what the Bible specifically says. That is what scripture says. Nothing else. Watch, watch this. Check this out right here. Catholics do not pray to Mary. What is prayer? Prayer is conversation. You know, talking with God. Not always asking for stuff. Talking with God. You're in communion with God, with Jesus. That's what prayer is. It's not like, oh, that's not, okay, that's a Catholic type of weird thing. Prayer is speaking with God. You're in communion with God, fellowshipping with God, okay? Catholics do not pray to Mary. But then right here, I ask both of them to pray for me to the Lord. What? I ask them. That's praying to them. That's what that is. And you're asking your dead mother to pray for you? She can't hear you. She's dead. When people die, you either go to Hades or you go to heaven. That's it. And then later on, those ones in Hades, they go to Gehenna. That's it. You have one life. You have one chance at this life to get in the afterlife to go to heaven. And if you do not do it the way Jesus says to do it, any other way is a thief. He said that. He said he is the door. He is the gate. Any other way to try and get into heaven, you're being like a thief trying to break in. That is incorrect. And of course, if you don't love God, he's not going to drag you into heaven against your will either. But he tells you how you need to live and how to get to heaven. It's not like you have to do a bunch of things. I'm just probably wording that incorrectly. But he tells you how to do it. And if you do it any other way, you are incorrect and you're making your own Bible verses. You're making your own gospel. And the Bible says if you do that, that is evil. There, it says anything else added to the gospel is not the gospel. And if anything that's not the gospel is evil. So it's weird that they say we don't pray to Mary. But then it says I ask them to pray for me to the Lord. Why? The Bible says you can go directly to him. That's the whole purpose. But when you say you're not praying to Mary and then you say you ask them to pray for you, that's the same thing. There's another one. Why do we ask other people to pray for us if there is only one mediator? That's talking about between you and God as a mediator. We can still pray for people. We're praying to the mediator for you. There's one mediator. Once you're dead, you're dead. You have no knowledge of this place. The Bible doesn't say anything about, oh, my mom died and so she's looking down on us right now. No. No, the Bible doesn't teach that. That's evil. Stop it with that stuff. The saints are alive in heaven. So I do not see a problem with asking them to pray for us also. Okay, they are alive in heaven. The Bible doesn't say to pray to the saints. Who are the saints? I guarantee if you ask a Catholic, who's a saint? How do you become a saint? In Catholicism, you have to perform a miracle after you're dead to become venerated as a saint. That's insane. That's against scripture. Who are saints? Catholics, answer that question. You can't because you don't know because you don't study the Bible. Even, even the Catholic apologist, what's that famous one? Trent Horn. He twists the scripture so bad. A basic Bible, even Christian, can totally debate him and, and he's completely off. Saints are simply believers in Jesus. Christians, I'm a saint. 
That this is weird. These the stuff these people believe. This is how you tell who reads the Bible and who doesn't. When people pray to Mother Mary and the saints, it's not for their own miracles, but for their intercession to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit on our behalf. Where does it say to do this in Scripture? This is so satanic. It's crazy. This one mentioned Harry Potter books because she talked about that. You know, if you have occultic books in your house, Harry Potter books and stuff, get rid of that music CDs. We used to have burn parties at Richie's house. He had a burn barrel. And this chick talked about that too, to destroy the stuff that you have. So you don't just chuck it in a dumpster and somebody goes dumpster diving, you know, and then they get a hold of it. And now you've caused them to stumble. And now they're not going to follow Jesus. That's your fault. It, it, it's good to destroy these things. So we used to go to Richie's house and have these burn parties and bring books and CDs and records and burn them because, you know, you're getting rid of this these evil things in your life. That's a good thing that this chick said. First of all, as a Catholic, I do not worship Mary. I ask Mary. That's the same thing. Praying to Mary. I ask Mary, who is God's mother, to pray for me in heaven. Please read about the Catholic faith. I get it as a Protestant. I don't consider myself a Protestant. I consider myself a Bible-believing, born-again Christian. The Bible says you must be born again to enter the kingdom of heaven. I don't consider myself a Protestant. What am I protesting? Except for maybe Catholics. I get it as a Protestant, you don't understand Catholicism the way Catholics do. Catholics don't even understand Catholicism. I guarantee you question them about the catechism. They don't have a clue. They don't know why they do half the things they do. It's just because they're told to do it. It's evil. I ask Mary, who is God's mother, to pray for me. What the heck? And I'm not saying Mary wasn't special. You know, the Bible says, yes, she's blessed among women. That was awesome what she did. You know, that takes courage. It took a lot of faith to do what she did. They also, Catholics also say like she remained a virgin the rest of her life. And she also ascended into heaven like Jesus did. Where Nowhere in scripture does it say that. She had other sons. Jesus had brothers from Mary. Like she had other kids after him with Joseph. She never ascended into heaven. I mean, yeah, I mean, sorry. I mean, I meant she ascended into heaven, but not like, you know, raised up like Jesus did. She died and went to heaven just like a regular person. She needed a savior too. She was a sinner just like the rest of us. She even said, you know, she that Jesus was her savior and her God. This one, is liking Harry Potter movies a sin? To me, it's entertainment. Is it a sin? Yeah, probably. You need to really look into that. Harry Potter's very, very occultic. It's super, super occultic. It's entertainment. Are you entertained by the occult? That's how I'm looking at that. That's terrible. Here's another one. God will open all of our eyes one day. Well, I pray he opens yours sooner than later. So before you're dead, you understand the gospel. Please do not say people pray to saints or Mary. It's a slash there. We ask them to intercede for us. That's it. We venerate their faith and closeness with God. See the weird double talk? Look, please do not say people pray to the saints or Mary. We ask them. That's the same thing. You're praying to them and you're praying to them to intercede for us. Why? There's one intercessor, Jesus. That is it. There is no praying to these people is satanic, man. Here's another one. Are you anti-Catholic mentioning Mary the saints? No, we're not anti-Catholic. Yeah, we're anti-Catholicism. If you're a Catholic, we pray for you. We want you to come to the real gospel read the bible come out of catholicism it's impossible to be a christian there if you become a christian in a catholic church it's in spite of the catholic church not because of the catholic church if they're teaching lies you can't learn the truth if somewhere along the line you learn the truth 
you would tell all those people there the actual truth and you'd get out. That's what most of us did. Catholics get super offended when you tell them the truth. I just told my mom the other day she needed Jesus. She's Catholic. She got so angry. Don't you pass judgment on me. What does that, what the heck does that mean? I don't even know what that means. And she said, we're done. And she hung up. And I was like, everybody needs Jesus. Not just you, me, everybody. I wish she didn't hate Jesus so much. I hate it. See, this is what drives me nuts. These are the things that get me angry. When people hate Jesus, that gets me angry. You've never really studied anything. Don't agree with you on the statue of Our Lady, Jesus' mother. She intercedes for us to her son and is in chapels, holy places like Lord Fatima, whatever that says. That's disgusting, people. Come on, man. Catholicism is disgusting. Has absolutely zero, zero to do with the Bible. Has zero anything to do with Christianity in any form. Here's another one. Catholic has entered the chat. While I completely agree with most of the content in this video, it's a bit sad to see a statue of Mary in this category with the occult. Catholicism is a cult. Unfortunately, our non-Catholic Christian brothers and sisters, we are not your brothers and sisters. If you're not a Christian, you're not our brother. You're not our sister. You're in a cult. You need to come out. Unfortunately, our non-Catholic Christian brothers and sisters do not understand what praying to the saints and seeking the intercession of Mary and even holding statues of them mean. We don't need to know what it means. You just said it. You just said it. We don't understand what praying to the saints and seeking the intercession of Mary means. We, it means it's satanic and you need to read the Bible. To make it clear, Catholics know and understand that Jesus alone is the one mediator, period. And seeking the intercession of saints does not take away from the one mediatorship of Christ. Yes, it, you just said it. It does. You're asking them to intercede for you. You just said it. A lot of people are mad at the yoga thing. This chick mentioned yoga and how evil it is. That is true. The whole thing of yoga is all, most people would be like, well, it's just stretches. No, just the whole thing is, is so, I can't even get into that. We've, we've gone over that before in different churches and stuff. I'm not going to make a video on that. I'm waiting to try and make my Catholic video first. The Blessed Virgin Mary is not evil. See, this is what this is how you know how, how they're Catholics. They say the Virgin Mary. She's not a virgin anymore. She was a virgin. Yeah, she was blessed. I mean, that was a, I'm telling you, that was a great thing she did. We're not to worship her. The Blessed Virgin Mary is not evil. She is the mother of our she is the mother of Jesus and he reveres her. She is our spiritual mother and should not be ignored or put in the trash with a Ouija board. She spelled it wrong. She is not a false god. She is not worshipped. She is respected. And your teaching is disrespectful to the Blessed Virgin Mary. No, it isn't. She was telling you, don't do that. Get rid of the statues of Mary and stuff. The chick was right. What do you mean she's not worshipped? Catholics worship her. They pray to her. There's so many of the, the, the Catholic. She really got on the Catholic's nerves by mentioning that. And it was amongst all these other things. This is the one thing they're focusing on. As a Catholic believer, I don't think you should list Mary, the mother of God. I don't know why they say that. She intercedes for us. She is not to be worshipped, nor is she an idol. It is if it's a statue and she intercedes for us. Come on, man. I'm a Catholic and your information is great and good to know. However, you are misinformed regarding Catholics and statues of saints and Mary. We do not worship Mary or any of the saints. We worship God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit only. We do, however, ask for Mary, the saints, family, and friends to pray with us and for us with any other prayer intentions we may need. I'm assuming they're talking about dead relatives. You're dead? You're dead. You cannot pray to them. That's prayer. We do, however, ask for Mary, the saints. 
That's praying to them. You're asking Mary. To, that's the same thing. Anyway, I'll stop here because I could do this all day. Catholicism gets me so angry because I used to be there and they don't understand. They need to hear the gospel. If you're Catholic, you need to actually get a Bible. Grab a Catholic Bible. The only thing wrong with a Catholic Bible is it has the Apocrypha in it and the Ten Commandments were changed. But if you read the gospel, it's the same gospel even in your Catholic Bible. Read it and you'll find out that what they're telling you in church is completely wrong. And church, like their mass, their service, is like the same ritual over and over and over and over. The Bible talks about that too. Read it. Read the New Testament, people, and you will see how evil your Catholic church is. Hopefully, I can get my Catholic video done sometime in the future. I've been talking about it for a while. Sorry, I was reading these comments. I got angry. That's why I wanted to make this video. If you don't know the gospel, the gospel is Jesus came for you. He died for everybody's sins and he rose from the dead for you, for you, for everybody. But it's up to you to accept his free gift of eternal life by becoming born again. It's all you have to do. All right. If you have any questions, come talk to me. Come see me. I know I'm going to get a lot of Catholics angry. I don't care. I want to preach the gospel to the lost. Catholics are lost. They're stuck in a cult. They need to come out. I will continue to preach the gospel. I don't care if people get angry. All right? Bye.